Hey Collective, it's Chatting with Chook, and I am back with another video. Well, what's good, y'all? So we gonna hop right in and get into some messages. Let's see what the Collective needs to see. Pregnant, and that's crazy. Um, I had seen baby twins, so somebody could be getting um pregnant with some twins soon, okay? Or you could be pregnant now. Congratulations, okay? So you got some shit just ain't worth it. So you could be pregnant, and you know. You're just focusing on yourself, your health, making sure that you bring a beautiful, baby, healthy baby into this world. You're not focused on um, shit that ain't mattering right now. Yeah, you got R. So your name could start with an R. Or somebody you're dealing with start with an R. Okay, so you got hush money. Headaches. People think you got it easy. They don't see the hard work and tears. Okay, so what I'm getting is that, um, and then you got to choose your battles wisely. Okay, so somebody could be hiding a pregnancy. Somebody could be getting paid to hide a pregnancy. Somebody is getting some sort of hush money. Or somebody could have gotten hush money to get rid of a baby. Okay, this person is who whoever's doing this. If somebody did this, they're going through karma for that. You know, um, bribing somebody to get rid of a baby or hiding a baby. Okay, this 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 situation could have been making you sick. You could have been experiencing a lot of headaches. Um and then out of the hospital because of this. Yeah, people people look at your situation like you got shit easy, but they don't I'm gonna use this. They don't see they don't know what's really going on behind the backgrounds because you you're you move as though things is not worth it. You know, whatever whatever it is that you're going through, you're like it's not worth uh, me losing my, my baby or you know, me, like, or if, if somebody was trying to pay you to get an abortion, you like, you know, taking taking this unborn's life is not, you know, the money is not worth it. Something like that. But it's like you had to release this situation because it was making you sick. Yeah, you got distracted. I feel like you're distracted on your hustle right now. You know, doing whatever it is that you need to do staying prayed up you know that this this situation is happening to you for a reason you getting pregnant um is happening for a reason it's it's a higher purpose it's a reason behind this yeah look single parent i can't make it up see you you're like you know you're gonna take that route regardless of the fact yeah, you got financially strapped and self-love and solitude. Yeah, you might not have anything, but anything as far as money is concerned, but you have a lot of love to give. And I feel like spirit is going to make sure things work out for you, regardless of the fact. Yeah, avoidance. Whoever you having a baby by, this person could be, or you could have had the baby. Who knows? This person could be avoiding you. This person, this person, they don't want to stand up. They don't want to take responsibility for whatever it is that they did. And they could have made it seem like you was trying to trap them or whatever the case may have been. But it's like you're not even stressing this person. You know, you taking care of your responsibilities and you moving accordingly. You're not worried. About, you ain't asking this person for nothing. Yeah, you got not ready. See, this person, they, they, yeah, with this sexual fantasies, they was ready to fuck. 
But when it was time to, for that baby to come, uh, they wasn't ready for that. This is somebody who I'm getting the energy that they purposely did this, though. They thought that they was going to be able to control you with the baby. And when they realized that you you wasn't even stunting them, you wasn't even stressing them. That's what that's this, this is that's what this person don't like. Yeah, you got her and karmic partner. Yeah, this person you had a baby with was a karmic ass energy. You know, and you got yourself caught up in like a a, a soul like you know, you know, a karmic cycle. You know, when you have a baby with somebody who ain't for you, that's a karmic cycle last up to eighteen years, you know. To that child is old enough to but whatever the situation is, it's like a, you you move forward from it. You're realizing that, you know, it's not worth it. This is somebody who could have multiple baby mothers. I wonder what this hush money. Somebody want to talk to you, though. Somebody definitely want to talk. But this person is like... I feel like they never have nothing good to say anyway. You may not be in connection with this person. You may have kept you, you know, be at a distance from this person. Yeah, I'm hearing busted baby. So yeah, this is person. Yeah, with this boundaries, this 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 all this person want. They want to fuck, and they feel like they have that some sort of attachment to you due to this child yeah you got boundaries it's complicated yeah this situation is very complicated because i feel like you got a lot of love for this person you know because they are the father of your child but at the same time it's like you're willing yeah with this organic hole and walking away you're willing to walk away from this connection to have something that you deserve you know, somebody who is going to love, honor, and cherish you and your child. You realizing that, you know, raising this child in this toxic environment with this person is not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, this person is non-committal. They don't plan on your yeah, toxic, crazy, emotionally unavailable, sneaky. This person is all these traits. This person, I feel like this person brings out a toxic ass side of you. You guys could have did a lot of fighting, could have even had um domestic violence, you know, situations amongst the both of you all. It was a lot of chaos and conflict, a lot of art. It was very, very toxic. This person is very sneaky. This person may want to come in. You could have walked away from this connection pregnant and all for some of you all y'all still pregnant for some of y'all y'all had the baby already you could have multiple kids with this person it could be a fire sign or you could be a fire sign but i feel like this person is going to want to come in with some sort of marriage and proposal yeah you got quality time apology sincere i keep seeing fire signs this could be somebody that's trying to come towards you and they got this going on in the background. Trying to hide a pregnancy. Don't want you to know what's going on. Take it where it resonates. But I feel like whatever this situation was, it fucking made you sick to your stomach. Yeah, you got Ace of Cups. You have new love coming in. I feel like this person, I'm telling you, this person got a lot of love for you. But, okay, with this Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles... I feel like you have something new coming in. <laughs> yeah, because I, I keep seeing this walk on, walk on away card is sticking out to me back here. So I feel like you're walking away from this in order to get something, you know, get what you deserve. Get these new beginnings. But like I said, this person, th for some of y'all, this could be the same person wanting to come in with a new offer. Y'all don't have to use y'all discernment.
But I feel like this person, spirit is going to show you right, like right before this person comes in, this non-committal person, spirit is going to show you someone new coming in. You, yeah, you're going to have a decision to make, yeah, because with this um, six of pentacles, seven of swords, nine of cups, this person could see you in your glory. That's what I'm hearing. And they could want to come in with this offer. But I'm getting at this person need help because you got financially strapped. So not only <clears throat> did this person leave you to be a single parent, it's like now that you finally got on your feet, this person feel like they could come in, you know, and you're going to accept them back with open arms. I don't feel that. I feel like you got a new connection that's coming in where it's going to be equal give and take. And this, this past person is trying to come in and sabotage it. Yeah. With this high priestess, I feel like you have this inner knowing on what the fuck is going on, what they trying to do. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you have something that's coming in that's really going to end successfully. With like with success. This is something that you could have been investing in in the backgrounds. Somebody definitely going to have a decision to make. Cuz somebody somebody is coming in. Somebody is coming in to apologize. Yeah, somebody that you left out in the cold. You got hermit, king of swords, 7 of cups, 7 of pentacles. Yeah. See, this this person want to come and speak some sort of truth. I feel like with this hermit king of swords, they were out in the cold for a while. You know what I'm saying? And they had to do some soul searching. <clears throat> but see, I feel like they, they could have tried to come in with this Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. But they weren't genuine at first. And they realized that they that didn't get them nowhere. Coming in on some trickery-ass energy didn't get them nowhere far. And now they feeling like, you know, they, they, they got to come in with another way. That's why this person may really come in with, with a proposal. You know, but I mean, here, don't get, you know, get caught up by, oh, somebody getting on one knee. If if you know that they ain't really been putting the work in on they self. Okay, so you got the three of pentacles and the nine of wands. I feel like this person is paying people to watch you, paying people, yeah, with this knight of swords. This person is upset with what the fuck, they, the information that they get into because it's like, one... They're not getting much information. People can't really say much about you. This person may not even... I'm getting... If you had the... This person don't even know when you had the baby. This how much you've been keeping quiet about shit. They don't know because they ain't there. Yeah. You got judgment and the magician with the five of wands. Yeah. See, this person... This person is, like I said, they're upset. They don't know what's going on with you. They have this feeling that you have new coming in. Or that you're dealing with somebody new. But they know that this is their judgment for whatever it is that they did to you. So I'm getting that somebody really didn't want you to have this baby. This person, like, they was fucking cruel about the whole situation. But they thought that you were going to be the type to become bitter and chase and run them around the city and it's like you was like you know what fuck that let me you know how you went into hiding and started doing whatever it is that you had to do to take care of yourself and now this person they they holding on to whatever it is that you guys had whatever it is they holding on to their life and they upset they're upset yeah, with this Ten of Cups. This is definitely somebody you had a family with. See, you went and found your own happiness. And I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning, new love, new like a new life. But you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You're self-sufficient. So you don't need this person for anything. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. Somebody don't like that. And all the Five of Swords energy that they were in, that shit is coming to a complete end. They can't fuck with you. They can't stop what you got going on. Yeah, this is the justice of the situation. They can't stop whatever it is that you got going on. 
you deserve this new beginning. You deserve this happiness because you've been putting in the work. Yeah, you done closed out that cycle. And you got somebody who coming in, baby. This person is coming in to shower you with so much love, so much affection. Yeah, this um, emperor, this king of pentacles energy. They coming in to give you exactly whatever it is that you deserve. And this person ain't going to like that. They not. To see somebody, you know, that they impregnated and left, you know, left to fend for themselves. And to find somebody come and pick you up and move you and your child to calmer waters. Hell no, they don't like that shit. I'm telling you, this person, they wanted you to, to be, they thought that you having this baby was, okay, this is what I'm getting. This person didn't want you to have this baby, and then when you made that decision to have it, they wanted your life to be hard. They wanted you to struggle. They like, oh, if she keep this baby, I hope she struggle. I hope this and this happen. And they just seeing somebody come in and really sweep you in, your child off your feet. Okay, so you got freedom. I, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, and that's just period. You're like, you know what? You don't want to have this baby. I'm going to have this baby, and I'm, I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. I'm going to do what it is that I got to do for this child. And, and we going to be free mentally, physically, and emotionally. And, and you're about to be free financially as well. Yeah, show more gratitude to your spirit guys because they've been working hard. You know, creating possi endless possibilities for you to, to have the life that you and your child deserve. So, that's the message that I have for you all. Somebody is going to definitely come in. Acting like they fucking crazy. Acting like, you know. But you ain't got nothing to worry about. I feel like you know this person. You spent a lot of time with this person. You, I feel like you got years put in with this person. And for those of you all where this person <clears throat> do have some sort of um, situation where they're hiding a pregnancy. And they want to come, still come towards you and, apolog and apologize. They don't want you to know. You're going to find out. You gonna find out right before this person coming that they got they got somebody they got a whole family on the way. So take what resonate whether you the person that's pregnant and somebody left you or somebody trying to come back in and they got they got somebody pregnant. You know your story better than I do. Okay, but take the message where it resonate and until next time.